Hello everyone, my name is Blade Walker and welcome back to our Let's Play for 7 Days to Die Alpha 18.4. As you can see, it's just after Horde Night, and I went ahead and I loaded up my Jeep with all the loot we found, and I brought it back here. So we are, well, first things first, we're going to turn the lights on. And double check the generator, looking good, so top the, did I top it? Oh, I didn't have any fuel. So, I'm going to go ahead and get organized, and then we will get started with the video. Okay, so our task for today, or at least the beginning of today, is going to be to get this room finally finished and nice and painted. Now, I'm trying to decide exactly how I want to do this because there are a few things that I'm not 100% positive about. One of them is, do I want to just cut this wall off here like it currently is and just leave these lined up? Or do I want to make maybe an island here in the middle and then surround the entire thing with nothing but... Uh, cement mixers. Not really sure. I know I definitely want to keep my infinite water source, so I'm definitely going to have to round that out. But I've also got to dig out the entire ceiling in order to match it with the ceiling here. And then, of course, let's see, go ahead and drop those. And I need some. Oh, I only got 400 left, huh? I think my uh, shortage of iron is about to get to me. Ooh, no iron, huh? Is there any over here? Ooh, oh, hey! Looks like I actually did remember. All right, so let's go ahead and get some... Get a little bit more wood in there. I don't know how much I'm going to need. Let's hit the favorites button. Rebar. 774. Sounds good. We'll go ahead and... Oh, this one did run out. Okay. Four minutes. Perfect. All right, so that's good, that's good. That gives me more than enough. Okay, let's go ahead and get our paint, too, because we're going to need that and close this. I do love this window. I think that looks really cool. All right, so we need paint. We're going to need a paintbrush. And our paint... Boy, I made so much paint, I didn't even realize. Okay, so apparently I accidentally upgraded this block over here. So there we go. Now, I'll go ahead and dig this stuff uh, ugh, this stuff out, and then we will go ahead and put it together on camera. So give me a moment to cut all this up, and I'll see you after that. Okay, so I've got it mostly fleshed out. I went ahead and I picked up all of the workstations and went ahead and tore this wall out so now it's nice and even instead of sticking out one block. I thought maybe it was that way because of my bedroom, but I went ahead and I dug behind the wall and it was all just rock, so went ahead and dug it out and now we have ourselves a nice even wall. I've decided I'm going to go ahead and put a little uh, island here in the middle and then I'm going to put the workstations around it. So we need to finish filling up the entire area with concrete and then we will be good to go. I'm wondering if I'm going to get the glitch. I was having a pretty good glitch a minute ago when I was building the wall over here. Some of the blocks, when I'd upgrade them, you could still see the uh, rebar frames inside the block. And then after a few seconds, it would update and then they would go away. But it was uh, interesting, to say the least. So let's get all this stuff uh, laid down and upgraded. It's going to look really nice once I paint it and everything. We're going to finally have our main area finished. You know, just pick that up. I was marking where I was going to put the island, but you know what? I'll just eyeball it. I'm not too concerned about making things exact. If I was, I'd have to redo the entire place from ground up, and I'm just not doing that. So we'll get this going. Just trying to get some things done because it looks like Alpha 19 is a couple of weeks away. So I'd like to get this place finished. Before that happens, go ahead and fill that in. Whoop. There we go. Now we just go ahead and upgrade all this stuff. Looking good, looking good. Once we paint it, it'll look even better. Love the paint feature. 
All right, just got to paint this. No, I'm not putting anything there. I, I thought about it, maybe putting a window or something, but since this is as far as this base is going to go on this side, I didn't really see a need to put windows into nothing. So I went ahead and decided to just make it one solid wall and be done with it. All right, so obviously now I have to paint. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, that was the rock. Okay. I do need to get a couple of pieces of glass, which are over here. Let's get some glass. And we're going to throw these in here. Copy shape. Copy rotation. And voila. Now we're going to copy texture. I actually did finally modify the paintbrush so I can do this. Whoops. So I can do it a little more quickly. I did it when I was painting my base outside because it gets a little tiring having to paint the whole thing very slowly with no... The, the delay, they call it, is... It's not horrible, but it's... It's a little too time-consuming. All right, so we'll do that. And then I did red brick for this. And then, yep, looks like red brick all around. So now we just do this and this and this and this and this. Yep, that's what I did, red brick. All righty. No, don't do that. All right, so we can grab this, and then we go back to a single paint. There we go. Looks good. Looks good. Now I do need to get some of those because I need to finish. Oh, there we go. That one's already done. Put these in. And now do I want to... Do I want to do it? I kind of want to do it over here. You know what? I am going to do it over here. Screw it. I think it looks nice, and I want it to be done. Now, I could do this wall here, but I'm not going to. That's the question. You know what? I am going to do it here. Screw it. There we go. So, now, as for this... Oh. I am going to put... some bars and such... or not bars, some blocks up here so it doesn't look so bad. I don't think it looks bad, honestly, but... Go. I'm gonna go ahead and do this and this. Because when you're down below I and you look up, I don't want you to see I don't want you to look at anything that's particularly nasty. Now let's see if putting these in on face. Nope, I can definitely come closer. Copy shape. I don't want these to be different in the rotation because if they are. They can definitely be a problem. On face. Okay, that should be good. I don't want it to look like you're quite hitting your head. That's a little close, but I think that's fine. Yeah, 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 that looks good. Okay, so I want to go over here, copy this design. Do all that. Oop. And then we're going to do these. And then all of these. Alright, looks good, looks good. And then the ceiling. Texture picker and then paint roller. And I just realized we need to do lights in here. Which I guess that will be our next thing to do. Alright, there we go. There we go. Looks wonderful. I don't know, should I put those up there like that? Yeah, that looks fine. Alright, so there's all of that. Got the floor done, got the walls done. I don't see that I missed anything. Doesn't look like it, I got everything. Maybe I should go ahead and paint the bottom of this concrete gray. Carpet, no, 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 no. Where is it? Concrete gray. Concrete gray. No, that's dark gray. There we go. Concrete gray. Paint this so it doesn't look so bad. There we go. Much, much nicer. Now, we are going to put an island here. I'm thinking about like, 
about like that. Yeah, that should do. I'm not sure, honestly, if I'm going to put all of these cement mixers back down. I don't really think necessarily we need them anymore. I mean, not all of them. And again, maybe I will. Hmm. Well, okay, I'm going to put most of them back down after all. Okay, that looks good. Now I'm thinking for the workbenches, I kind of like... Can I put them both? Yeah, I could put them both here. You know what, I am going to put them both here. That looks good. And then we can put the chem stations over here. We'll say one there. And we'll say one there. That looks pretty good. It's not real crowded. Well, a little bit, but not terribly so. Now everything looks good and even. And I've got one extra space, so that's not bad. All right, now we got to paint this in the middle. So what do I want to paint this? You know what? I think I'll just go ahead and do this. Oh. Paint the middle sides like this. And then we'll paint the top gray like I did over here. Now, can I put anything up there? I could put the lantern up there, but I do intend to put some more lights in. So let's go ahead and get some lights. I still got seven. Wonderful. And I need these. So we drop of that. Drop that. I need lights in this. Oh, I need relays as well. Okay, so. Where do I think these will look good? I like to keep them two off the wall. Let's try there, and then two off the wall, and try there, two off the wall there, and then can't do two off the wall on that one, so we'll try there maybe. We'll give that a shot and see what happens. So now we do this. Hmm. That's fine. I really don't care. In this case, we're going to do it on the right side. Oop, watch out, my friends. All right. Oop. It's going to look real good when it's done. need to put in the thingy mo bobbers here and here I believe and then we need to dig on over here find the ones over here there it is and the one that's over there Far. No, I don't think I went far enough. There it is. Ah, screw it. We'll just go ahead and dig all this out. It don't matter. It isn't going to collapse. We're, we're far enough underground that it makes no difference. All right. I'll have to repair the couple of spots I hit. Anything else? Alright, put it there. Now, I had four. Oh, the fourth one's over here. Right, right, right. Okay. I'll just go ahead and put it there. That should be fine. All right. So, snag me dealy here. Hmm. How about we go from here to here? 
And then we go from here over to here so that it doesn't... I don't want it going over the stairway, in front of the stairway. I mean, it doesn't really matter, but the whole point of doing this is for looks, so we kind of defeat the purpose. Okay, down we go. And bam. Next. Down we go. Bam, and... I already did that one. Come on, buddy. Down we go. Bam. And the last one. Okay, cool. So, how does that look? Wow, that looks really good. Alright, looks like we lucked out. Okay, let's grab these. Fill in the holes. And then paint. And then this project is done. All this time I've waited, and I could have done this in like 10 minutes. A little longer than that, but not too much longer. Alright. And there we go, guys. Look at that. That looks phenomenal. Yeah, you can see where the sheets are on the wall, but that's alright. I think that looks phenomenal. Nice and bright, no dark spots. I really wasn't sure about here in the middle, but yeah, that looks really good. Okay, so what's next on the agenda? Well, let's put this stuff away first of all. Uh, sort. Are we finally getting a decent amount of concrete? Yes, we are. 75, 77, not a little over 100,000. That's good. Throw all that in there, that in there, cement. This and this. Actually, no, we're going to take those. Uh, let's see. We don't need that anymore. We don't need those. Wait, don't I have any more lanterns? No, I don't. Put that away. Put this away. That. This. This. And... I think that's good for now. Oh yeah, we're looking good. Need to check the concrete though, because I think I had some more crafting. I did. Ooh boy, okay. Well, I don't want to do that just yet. So, the next project, I think, is going to be... Oh boy. We've got to work on that bad dog before Horde Night. I'd like to get this one redone, and I've got an idea how to make it a little better. I think what I'm going to do is, on top of this here, I'm going to make a uh, entrance way from here. Oh, look at that, them bastards. Probably from like both sides here, I'm going to have little walkways going to here, and then I'll stand on top of this at the beginning of the Horde Night. Of course, I'll put a top on it and all that for vulture defense. And then I'll be able to kill them easily when as they come up. And then if they start to get too far around behind, I can run up and then run up to there and get them from there. We'll see. I think I'm definitely going to... I'm almost positive, actually. I'm going to add at least one more dart trap on each side, maybe two. Because two was definitely not sufficient. When we were doing th uh, uh, 16 max alive, that was fine. But now that we're doing 32, no, not going to cut it. Not even close. In fact, honestly, four on each side, those are going to get trashed. Especially when cops show up and start puking, they're going to destroy those things in a hurry. I really wish you could upgrade or they would increase the hit points. Because then they have like 2,000, something like that. Yeah, 2,000 is just not, not a lot. Especially when a single cop can blow it up. That's, that's ridiculous. The Killing Corridor, however, is a champion. I mean, this thing is just... I mean, granted, it's not perfect because the, uh, the, the zombie AI is no longer set the way it used to be, but it's pretty darn close. Can you open? Yes, you will. This is also another project we need to get finished. I'd like to get this finished sooner rather than later. But uh, I think before I work on anything like this, I think I need to start getting the walls here done. At least the first level all the way around. And that is going to take some serious time. So I'm not sure how we're going to work that.
But I, and then not only that, not only do I have to get the face put in, hey, stinking screamers and roamers. Not only do I got to get the face put in, but then I've got to dig out the three blocks behind the face all the way around. Now, the idea is it's not really a horde base this part is. I don't really intend to stand here and defend against the horde, but I could if I wanted to. And the general idea is, even though they will tend to focus on a block once they start to damage it significantly, most of them you can drag them along and keep killing them and then drag them along and drag them along. But it's not really made as a primary horde defense. This is more like a fallback point. Like if these were to fail or, if, you know, just for fun, I want to do something different, I can run back here and then I can throw grenades at them and all that good stuff. So this is not, this isn't bad. I mean, it's, it's not a main defense. If I put in an extra layer of these poles here, or if I did the four pole where I did two on, two on the bottom block and then two on the upper block above it, then, yeah, you could use it as a main horde defense. Just like I did the old base over there. I did the exact same thing. I've got sets of four for each one. So it's four blocks put together, but it looks like a, uh, one of the quarter blocks, but it's actually four poles. So I don't know what I'm going to do for the top section. I might do a, like a reverse design of this, like like opposite. Like this would be the top up here or bottom up here, and then it would just be reversed. And then whatever is left on the top, I could just fill in with regular blocks, just solid concrete. And then when I paint it all, I think it'll look pretty neat. But I'm not sure. I really, I'm really not sure. But I do know that I need to figure it out soon because, like I said, Alpha, Alpha 19 is a couple of weeks away. And you'll blink and boom, it'll be here. And I will say one thing. If Alpha 19 does come out before I finish this, I will not simply abandon this and move on to 19. I will move on to 19, but I will end this Let's Play as far as daily or, you know, the three, four episodes a week, and I'll just finish everything off camera, and then when it's done, I'll post a final video showing a tour, maybe even a Horde Night video, and I'll show you how it looks. So, you don't have to worry about that. I'm not one of those people that when the season ends or the new Alpha comes out, they just drop everything and abandon it, because I really like this base. I, I think it came out really well, and it's not even done. And had I time, oh, we got a victim. I had actually thought about putting an underground garden in, in this area right here all the way. Well, not all the way, but like from here all the way to there. Because I've got the... Ooh. I think it would be really neat to put an underground garden in here. But honestly, I think that's just going to have to wait until Alpha 19. Because if I keep adding projects, this is never going to get done. As it was, I had another idea for two more horde bases over here. One here in the corner, and then one here in the middle. But again, I was like, you know, if I start adding all this stuff, I mean, I've still got all of this work to do, and then I've got to redesign this base. Or not redesign it, but I've got to update the design and change some things. I just don't... There's not enough time. I mean, there is if I would work on it nonstop, but I'll be honest, I've got other things going on. I'm playing some modded playthroughs right now. And, of course, we got our Wasteland Survival Series, which I'm very much enjoying. So, I could do more stuff, but honestly, I think it's better to just go ahead and wait till Alpha 19. Plus, if I do everything I want to do on a single Let's Play, well then what's next for the... You got nothing to show for the next one, I'd be just repeating myself, which I might do anyway. But, I think that's going to do it for today, guys. I think we got quite a bit done, and what we're going to do next episode, I'm probably going to start working on either... Probably the outside wall here, because I've got to get that done. So, if you enjoyed the video, please feel free to leave a comment, suggestion, like, or subscribe. Have a great day, everyone, and as usual, I will see you in the next episode.